Names. Rat boy. Freak. Monster. Freddy Krueger. E.T. Gross out. Lizard face. Mutant. I know the names they call me. I've been in enough playgrounds to know kids can be mean. I know, I know, I know. I ended up in the second floor bathroom. No one was there because first period had started and everyone was in class. I locked the door to my stall and took off my mask and just cried for I don't know how long. Then I went to the nurse's office and told her I had a stomach ache, which was true because I felt like I'd been kicked in the gut. Nurse Molly called Mum and had me lie down on the sofa next to her desk. Fifteen minutes later, Mum was at the door. Sweetness, she said, coming over to hug me. Hi, I mumbled. I didn't want her to ask anything until afterward. You have a stomach ache? she asked, automatically putting her hand on my forehead to check for my temperature. He says he feels like throwing up, said Nurse Molly, looking at me with very nice eyes. And I have a headache, I whispered. I wonder if it's something you ate, said Mum, looking worried. There's a stomach bug going around, said Nurse Molly. Oh, jeez, said Mum, her eyebrows going up as she shook her head. She helped me to my feet. Should I call a taxi or are you OK walking home? I can walk. What a brave kid, said Nurse Molly, patting me on the back as she walked us toward the door. If he starts throwing up or runs a temperature, you should call the doctor. Absolutely, said Mum, shaking Nurse Molly's hand. Thank you so much for taking care of him. My pleasure, answered Nurse Molly, putting her hand under my chin and tilting my face up. You take care of yourself, OK? I nodded and mumbled, thank you. Mum and I hug walked the whole way home. I didn't tell her anything about what had happened. And later, when she asked me if I felt well enough to go trick-or-treating after school, I said no. This worried her, since he, she knew how much I usually love trick-or-treating. I heard her say to Dad on the phone, He doesn't even have the energy to go trick-or-treating. No, no fever at all. Well, I will if he doesn't feel better by tomorrow. I know, poor thing. Imagine his missing Halloween. I got out of going to school the next day too, which was Friday, so I had the whole weekend to think about everything. I was pretty sure I would never go back to school again.